So rather than thinking of dharma in terms of say external structures like temples or that we have to protect dharma means people think about that you know, that that our scripture should not be misinterpreted or our the external te- temple should not be desecrated so while that is one aspect of it but you are saying at a more fundamental level dharma is lost when we ourselves become lost when we are yes. not aligned with ourselves properly yeah and those who are attacking the, those who are attacking the the extended principle of that dharma are basically none other than people who were a part of dharmic values only by whatever they name call themselves whether it is pagan religion in arabic world or the european world or in the african world right mm-hmm. so when they start realizing and and therefore and therefore the dharma civilization the duty of dharma civilization more than anything else more than anything else is continuously debating on this concept including from our own self to our family our village our community you know so when that is done properly systematically just imagine in the bhagavatam there is a story of hiranyakashipu tormenting now who could stop where is aurangzeb compared to hiranyakashipu where is comes uh, where is aurangzeb compared to kamsa Mm. right and this was happening in satya yuga very conscious destruction of anything which is connected to dharma vedas shraddha you know you could not even think of god in your own heart they couldn't think of the lord also that also you could figure out hey they are thinking catch them and kill them is it the thought police sir like that in today's world we have okay you know and then his very son the very son was born in his very family he destroyed his very fabric therefore if you remember last talk last talk we were discussing the the critical thinking against islam and christianity has to come from islam and christianity only yes the positive critical thinking all right and for sanatan dharma you know we need to have lot of more positive thinking because with sanatan dharma everybody like i remember somebody saying that when it comes to sanatan dharma people say the dharma itself is wrong there is a problem in bharat and bharat is a problematic me bahut bada antar hai you know the many so called intellectual amongst the hindu community those who are atheist those who are agnostic or those who are uh, you know those who are from the background of reason and logic while they condemn everything about sanatan dharma in regards to western civilization in regards to abrahamic faith you know you don't have to slander at least understand it as it is so you are contrasting that with uh, that even in abrahamic traditions if there is some extremism that has to be reformed from within yes. but in our tradition instead of reforming from within there is almost like a wholesale condemnation by some people yeah as a simple example when you speak about islamic aggression they would say oh there is no uh, terrorism as no religion but when it comes to brahmanical whatever happened you know 400 300 years ago they will hold them responsible not only one or two people the entire community as if they are such a violent aggressive you know terrorist people you know you can see that so visibly seen all the time that is so true i was once reading an article in the guardian it was about how many europeans were many europeans had joined uh, islamic states and other extremist organizations mm-hmm. and the whole article's thrust was that actually it is not islam that is radicalizing people rather there were people already who were deformed and they had a radical mentality and islam just became an excuse for them so now it is now of course it's possible that one extreme is there but to completely say that that is like you want to uh, it is you could say whitewashing one thing and then 
like recently also when the bangladesh attacks were there the the news coverage was so slanted the one side they said yeah but there was some uh, immediate far more prominence was given to the fact that after india lost to pakistan there some people were arrested in india because they are celebrating the victory of pakistan yeah so this mm. so this 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 bias so then the question is raised you know how come someone can be so shameless and dishonest in regards to journalism how can they sleep in the night you know the demon within their own heart of bias shamelessness how will they allow them to sleep because it is not possible only you can be so brutal dishonest in the name of you know in the name of transparent journalism so this questions are supposed to be raised by everybody and so realize okay you know this is the reality they are not they are not representing the news they are representing particular agenda based upon being purchased or being completely brainwashed right mm. so therefore we see that the same people they will tell others never forget what you experience by the brahmins and then when it talk about the 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 radical islamic invasion they said you know that will create a disturbance we should not remember the past we should move on with the you know with the with the present and future rather than digging out the old stories yes so there is this is a not it is it is beyond hypocrisy 